As you know, I got to watch Godzilla Minus One in Japan. Here is my full review. There will be minor spoilers. Godzilla Minus One is one of the greatest Godzilla films I've ever seen. Not only does it have that same message from Godzilla 1954 and many other Godzilla films after that, that humanity, mankind, especially in this one war, is responsible for this creature being. But this time it takes us back to the mid to late 40s. As we follow the main protagonist, a pilot who returns from war to see his home destroyed and living with the guilt that he could have done something earlier in the film. And yes, this could be minor spoilers, but I want to add that the early part of the film where we do actually get to see Godzilla kind of reminds me of Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, where you see Godzilla as a little dinosaur attacking soldiers. But the action and suspense in the early part of that movie is much like Jurassic World or Jurassic Park, and it really gets the movie going. And yes, Godzilla Minus One takes a lot of inspiration from other Godzilla films, of course Godzilla 1954, Godzilla 1984, Legendary's Godzilla 2014, and interestingly enough it takes a lot of inspiration from the movie Jaws. Not only is this scene where you see the teaser and the trailers of Godzilla chasing after the boat, there is a lot more, especially the third act, and that's not a bad thing. I think it makes this much more original than any other Godzilla film. And Godzilla is a beast. Absolutely will destroy everything. There is no remorse with this creature whatsoever. The CGI is fantastic. A very original way to shoot his atomic breath with his spike sticking out. And there are several things in this movie that you've probably never seen Godzilla do before. I also love the haunting music that captures this film in an incredible emotional and cinematic way. And I just love how they throw in the Godzilla theme, the Godzilla march here and there in appropriate times. And it just makes his grand entrances all the better. But it's not just a Godzilla film. In fact, a lot of this is a post-war drama. As we follow and root for the pilot to survive, feel very emotional for the characters in this film. You want them to live. You want them to survive. And you want them to get back on their feet. The director made sure that you see every person that's about to die when Godzilla attacks a ship or attacks a city so that you are fully aware of the stakes that's being placed. So all in all, I love this movie. This is probably one of the greatest, maybe even the greatest Godzilla film ever made. And no, it's not like the MonsterVerse. We can't compare to the hero Godzilla. This is a full-on brutal Godzilla, an antagonist, a force of nature like how he was originally in Godzilla 1954. Make sure you check out Godzilla Minus One when it hits US theaters December 1st.